Good morning. It is May 19th, 2020, and this is Virtually Live 6. Beautiful start to the morning. I had to get up super early. I know you feel bad for me, but the wind's supposed to kick up later this morning. So I'm here at south end of Admiral Road at about 5.40 a.m. Sun just came up. Yeah, obviously the Cedrens have returned. It's crazy. There's Cedrens singing everywhere here. But uh, I really hope we can get some warblers. This is really technically Warbler Wednesday, although it's Tuesday. Let's go see if we can find some warblers. This little patch of woods on the south side of Admiral Road kind of catches some migrants often. And we got uh, black and white warbler in here. And they creep along the trunk feeding on insects they get out of the bark. And uh, rose-breasted grosbeak. And what's that? At least fly catcher. Oh, there's my oven bird. They also do a cool dusk song that's very much more complicated, but uh, basically they're one of the easiest warblers song to learn. Teacher teach teacher 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 teacher. We've got a Canada Jay family. I think it's two adults and about three young kind of working the road edge here. The adults are hunting uh, the road shoulders and the, the babies are still doing a little begging. Um, but there, you know, that's a common sight early to mid-May because these uh, Northern Jays, Canada Jay, formerly Gray Jay, um, nest super early. I mean, they start gathering nesting material in late February uh, at the Welcome Center. We put out cotton balls, teased apart the cotton, and they were taking that from us in March, I guess early March. And uh, they build these big, deep cup nests, well lined. They'll line it with deer hair, moose hair, well insulated, because they're laying eggs and on eggs by um, middle of March late March and the snow as we know can still be about three feet deep and below zero temperatures so they need a very warm cozy nest as you can see the black flies are out <laughs> awesome finally we got a great gray owl on virtually live and 7 15 in the morning hunting which means probably got a nest with some babies to feed pretty cool uh, of course I blew it once again I was all situated nicely he was paying no attention to me and it probably is a he if, if 
females on the nest uh, or stays near the young but um, he was uh, about to fly and my camera ran out of battery and I didn't have one sitting next to me rookie mistake rookie mistake and he flew right past the car didn't even look at the car and landed about uh, 20 yards 30 yards from me oh well I'm just waiting to see if uh, I can get a break here and get uh, get out and get my battery decided to make a foray back in the bog nice black spruce tamarack bog and this time I did fall through and got wet such are the hazards of bushwhacking in the bog. I'm gonna see if we can hear any Connecticut warblers. Uh, they should be back any day. They're one of the later warblers to return. Pretty quiet back in the bog. Uh, some Nashville warblers singing. Uh, white throat sparrow out by the road. Some black capped chickadees and a few thousand of my black fly buddies. Um, bushwhacking in a bog is really neat experience. There's tons of county land if you need to make sure you know where you're yeah, uh, allowed to go. Uh, you can download the St. Louis County Land Explorer app and I'll tell you if it's county land and you're welcome to knock around on county land. But uh, you better have at least two, preferably three forms of route finding, direction finding. So your phone fully charged and for sure a compass. Those two things for sure because this is flat featureless land vast and you do not want to get turned around back in here especially obviously on a cloudy day when you can't even tell which way is east west north south here a magnolia warbler over here weedy 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 oh weedy 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 oh let's go see if we can find it magnolias like these kind of younger smaller pines really good habitat for them but listen for that song weedy 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 oh weedy 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 oh that's how i hear it anyway that gorgeous warbler on territory so i think so singing away in the right habitat be nice to find a warbler wave here soon though nice mixed warbler wave Supposed to get up to almost 70 today and tomorrow and the next day, so I think the warblers are going to be just flooding back. Huh, did you know porkies could swim? Well, maybe not exactly swim, but <laughs> when I came upon him, he was eating uh, dirt, probably getting salt uh, from leftover from this winter. Lincoln Sparrow. It always sounds kind of otherworldly to me, kind of like a maybe a UFO transmission. Uh, <laughs> stopped because of the porcupine, but there's a plethora of sparrows here. White-throated sparrow you can hear, song sparrow, swamp sparrow, and the Lincoln Sparrow. Pretty cool. Blue-headed vireo singing over here. Had a black-backed woodpecker fly over doing his growl call and uh, an adult 
white wing crossbill, um, picking grit off the side of the road. And uh, a juvenile white wing crossbill, which probably means they nested around here uh, in uh, late winter. Uh, they can nest any month of the year if there's if their little crossbill brains tell them there's enough food they will nest uh, if the cone crop's good they say why not december who cares january who cares february who cares let's nest we got plenty of food and they do it i really think there are admiral people and mcdavitt people um, i'm definitely a mc Davit person. Um, if I have a choice to drive Admiral or McDavid, I drive McDavid and I usually have better luck. It's kind of crazy because they're only about a mile apart. But I'm a McDavid person. And we just had a great stop on McDavid, which proves it. McDavid is best. Number one, Miracle Mile. I wanted to show you something. Uh, Friends of Sac Zimbog has been slowly getting into the research and science side of things. And we have a fund set up for uh, these projects. And one of them is this MOTUS Tower, M-O-T-U-S. And how it works is birds that are tagged with a special tag, and they fly within like 10 to 20 kilometers even of this tower this antenna will pick up the signal that's coming from that band and it'll tell the researchers exactly what individual not just there's a bird out there but what individual so these towers are going up all over the united states especially along migration corridors in minnesota that's been mainly the north shore but now we're broadening out and uh, we'd hope to have a couple of these out and about in the bog eventually this is in partnership with the Natural Resources Research Institute, University of Minnesota, Duluth. Oh, there's a magpie. There's a magpie up there. They're always so spooky, so I'm gonna get some footage from here. But they do nest around here. Uh, as I've said before, the furthest east population in the United States. And it's fun to have them here. Anywhere there's animals, farm animals, cows, well, usually just cows, um, you have a chance to see them. And we're here on the south end of 229, 29, in these big farm hay fields and perfect habitat. But I think they're nesting at this abandoned farm over here. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, virtually live six. And the warblers were supposed to be back and a few were. Not in big numbers and a lot of them are on territory already. I think maybe the best one might have been the magnolia. But we also had chestnut sided, oven bird, yellow rumped warbler, black throated green. Didn't get any video of that one. Northern water thrush, black and white warblers everywhere yellow warbler and uh, yeah a bunch of nashvilles too superstar mammal of the day third time porcupine dirt eating porcupine you just can't beat that and superstar bird of the day uh yeah it's got to be great gray owl one flying right towards me but really cool um we have no idea how many great grays nest in the bog, but you know, maybe a dozen pairs. So fun to see hunting. And some really neat boreal species, including blackback woodpecker and family of gray jays, Canada jays. So next week, virtually live seven, last one, maybe, we'll see. Join me, it's gonna be Warbler Palooza promise you. All right. 
This is Sparky signing off from the Sac Zimbog. We'll see you in the bog. Mm -hmm.